<laughs> Once a year they test life safety, which means they start the fans, they open the dampers, they check their system pressures. But when they shut it off, everybody shuts it off and goes home, nobody comes back and checks all the dampers to make sure they close tight. So up here we're actually in the smoke relief portion of the retail podium. So if there's a fire alarm, these drop open and these roof hatches open up to allow smoke relief out of the building. Um, subsequently, this is a location where you can get a lot of air loss if people don't come up and check it on a regular basis. These are not gasketed. You can see air, or you can see light in the corner. Um, these are just really plywood panels that are set in place. And then these are also, you've got air gaps at the base where they are. And typically, even though they've got rubber gaskets on them, over the years those gaskets corrode and you end up with air leaks up there as well. One of the things that we see in these buildings is equipment access. If you can't get to equipment easily, it's not going to get taken care of and subsequently it's more prone to failure and if it does fail unless it directly impacts a tenant or it starts a fire or something else nobody's going to know it. Just keep wasting energy. It just keeps wasting energy it's a hidden issue and especially a unit like this being tucked up in a remote mechanical room with access panels up high this isn't even in your your line of focus out of sight out of mind if you've walked by it five times and not seen a problem you can walk by it another 50 times and not see a problem. When you've got conditions like this, it allows unconditioned air to leak into the building 24 hours a day, and it's unseen, unknown. This is one of those things that gets hidden. It has a tremendous energy impact that nobody sees.